John Sandlin, aka Johnny One Tear. So what I do specifically in this band is I play both. I play melody, I play lead, and I play rhythm. My name is Fernando Garavito and I play the drums. We play uh, a mix of, of genres. We play uh, gypsy swing, we've incorporated uh, reggae, we lately have been incorporating ska beats into uh, gypsy swing tunes. We, um, Jared, who's the bass player, brought in a lot of uh, western swing, so we play western swing as well. We like to play around with rock. So what Fernando and I do is actually, he's kind of like, as if he were like a second guitar. My name is Muni Kolesinghan, I play the violin or the fiddle, depending on how you define it. We have been playing together for three, three and a half years, I think, this coming month. It's like playing with my three best friends, it's really, really cool. My name is Jared Putnam, and I play the upright bass. I sort of play a dual role of, of keeping of the bass and of the rhythm. The slap bass kind of helps with the rhythm. Of course, me and Fernando are both doing that, and Johnny. I mean, everyone does their own part of playing rhythm. I would say probably I was the, 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 the single most unifying factor in forming the band because I met Fernando, and then I met John, and then we were looking for a bassist, and John and Jared had been in contact, and then I randomly ran into Jared. We found a, another bassist at first, who was really great. Yeah. I really liked that other bassist. I'm sure he was great. But um, he became really famous and moved to Japan, <laughs> and so we were stuck without a bassist. And Jared just happened to be like totally unemployed, yeah, with like five kids. <laughs> <you> know. <laughs> the first step of writing a song, if a song has a good structure and a well written idea, a well conceived idea, then everything that comes into the song happens naturally. I, you know, I come up with intriguing ideas, whether they're chords or bits of a melody. So if John has a guitar beat and it's great, then whatever Mooney does on top of that uh, feels right. And Jared, the same on bass, and the drums kind of just fill in and, and, and bring it together. It'll be like a starting point or a building block, and, and then you can go from there. It really just depends on the song. We recorded a song because a friend of ours wanted to make a video of us for a song called Demonic Lovely. So we recorded this song, Demonic Lovely, a really long time ago at Devo Studios. Finally, a year later, we decided, okay, let's make an album. We already have a song at Devo Studios, let's go make an album with them. That's how we came about it. But we walked in and things just, uh, we were last minute changing songs, of course. We were changing the order of things all the time. Um, and it was a long process. Um, but it was a cool one, for sure. It's true that I mean, New Mexico doesn't have like a rich gypsy jazz heritage or anything like that. And even in America, I mean, or not, there's no real gypsies in America, but at the same time, we are a country of immigrants, and gypsy just means traveler. And so, in a way, we're all kind of gypsies, but we don't have that, the blood heritage. Some people do. There aren't that many who play, so we get hired a fair amount right now. People, you know, walk in and hear us playing, and they're always saying, wow, I really like what you guys are playing. I've never heard that kind of music before. What do you call it? And I think that just kind of gives people a little thrill to hear something they've never heard before. But they, they like it, they don't know why. I don't really get too nervous too much anymore. We've played so many shows. Every now and then we'll get nervous. Like if we're playing in a really big theater in front of an audience we've never seen before. Like we played in Tucson at the Fox Theater. 
um, like a month ago. We were all a little bit nervous for that. But sometimes I don't admit to myself that I'm nervous. And then after the show's over, I'll, I'll realize, hey, I was nervous before that show, you know? And, but sometimes, uh, I guess I actually still do get a little nervous. Once we get the first couple of tunes out of, our, out of the way and, we, and the audience, we see what the audience response is, whatever it is, we can start dealing with how we feel about it and we can sort of drop it and then just focus on playing. Live shows, generally, we want to play the songs that uh, make us happy and make the people happy. Energies at shows are, are varied. You know, some, it, you know, you can run the whole, the whole gamut from mellow to, to crazy. Most of the time we, at least at points in the show, will really lock together and start just playing as a unit and then it's like we're, I don't know, we're not really present. We are really present but we're not ourselves anymore. If it's kind of a more conservative crowd and we play slow songs that make people happy, in turn those songs make us happy. If we're in this crazy, hectic, wow crowd, we play songs that kind of feed the people who in turn feed us back. So. It, it depends on the setting. You know, we're, we have the experience of, uh, or the pleasure, uh, the opportunity to go to Europe this summer um, to do some theater work. One of my friends from college is a dude named Thaddeus Phillips. And he and I, and another friend of mine from college, Jeremy Wilhelm, wrote this play, which is the second play that I've written with Thaddeus, called the, um, no, this one's called uh, Flamingo Winnebago. We, we wrote, composed, collaborated, did the music for this piece of theater. I'm the main character in the play too, so I'm acting in it as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not even being sarcastic. I'm the main character. John and, and Fernando and Jared actually are kind of like this gypsy band unit. But then the band, the four of us, play together like two or three times as well. So even though it's not really our thing, it's still that we're going to be there and we're going to be playing gigs and having fun. So I've, 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 I mean, I've been, I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to Serbia, and I'm really excited about Serbia because I've heard a lot of really exciting things about Serbia. I see that we we're going to be doing a lot more large scale touring in the future. Several more albums will be released. We just hope to be in the place where we can uh, we can survive completely on the band, you know, whether that means that we're hugely famous or just, you know, sort of um, on the fringe, you know, either way. We have a website called, uh, called at uh, www.lechatnatique.com and then we have MySpace page, you can look us up.